So you've got yourself a cable that works and you're ready to program your radio. So let's see how that's done with Chirp. Welcome to Ask Dave, episode 38. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. In our last episode, we talked about getting a programming cable that actually works with Windows 10. And then we talked about how there needs to be some software in this diagram that we can use. And the software in this case is Chirp. So what I'm going to do is show you first how to download and install Chirp. Second, how to use it to read out a radio, make modifications, and read that back into the radio. And then third, show a really interesting trick where you can take the contents of one brand of radio, in this case the Osheng, and transfer it to another brand of radio, in this case the Baofeng. So, let's get started. First, we need to download Chirp. All right, to download Chirp, you've got to go to the appropriate website, which just happens to be chirp.danplanet.com. Okay, I'll put it up on the screen so you can see it. And it brings you to this page right here. Now, Chirp is programming software. It is free. You can donate it if you like. I encourage you to do that. Uh, but it is free. So you can get it and play with it as much as you want. Now, another thing that's important to understand is that Chirp is updated every few days. So you want to make sure that you have the most recent one because they're adding radios all the time. Okay, so here are the supported radio models right here. All right. And we see, you know, things like Alenco Kenwood. Here's our Baofeng. Now, note here, this is really important. Uh, the GT5TP is the same as the UV82HP. It's very important because we're going to use that when we do the programming. Okay, uh, we've got our uh, Oshing down here. Uh, the UV3D uh, is actually going to show up under the UVD1P. Quite the alphabet soup. Okay, let's go to get it. Uh, getting it uh, takes us to the Chirp downloads. We're going to do Windows. This is the one that we want to install. Now note that this is today's date. Okay, this is the one that uh, we want. Now, I'm just going to skip a step or two here uh, as this thing down, downloads because uh, it does take a moment to get all the way through. Okay, now we've uh, downloaded it. Let's go to Downloads, to Chirp. And uh, here's the uh, daily installer that we've got right here. Um, I've already installed this. So uh, if you were to go through the steps, it takes uh, very little time to uh, install. I'll just install it right here. And it's uh, going to town. Look at that. All right. And so we'll go ahead and go into um, our programs and look at Chirp right here, run Chirp. And this presents you with a real exciting blank page. Okay. Now to download something, I'm going to take a look here at uh, the, the Osheng. Okay, it works in the Osheng, it works on this. Oh, let's turn it off before we do anything with this. Okay, there. And then we're going to turn it on. Okay, so I've got this plugged in right here uh, into this uh, really well. And now we're going to download from the radio. So what we do is come up here to radio, download from radio. We have to tell it which radio. Remember, the UV82HP was the one that was the equivalent of the GT5P. So we'll just click download. There's a warning. Uh, the radio's driver is experimental. They're all experimental. Okay, so you just go ahead. Here's the instructions. All right. Uh, make sure that the volume is turned up enough that it can get the tones out that it needs. Okay, and now what it's doing is it's going to download what's in the radio. Down it roars. Uh, it's called cloning because you're taking the co entire contents of memory 
putting it on the computer. You can't pick and choose. You can't just change one little thing or that one little thing. You have to download the entire thing, make your changes, and then upload them. Now, what I'm going to do right here, a lot of these uh, frequencies are uh, outside of the ham bands, okay? It, it comes with a variety of frequencies in there. We really don't um, need them. I'm going to take them out in a minute, but first, let me show you, I'm going to give this one a name. That frequency just happens to be in the ham band. So I'm going to say that this radio, will call it uh, Ridgeway, all right? And uh, now that we've made that change, we can go ahead and write this uh, to the radio. So we're going to upload this to the radio. Again, we get all of our little uh, screens that we need to go through, and now it's uploading it into the radio that one change. Now that I've shown you how you can download, make changes, and go up, you can make as many changes as you want. It's very important, okay? Um, after putting this up in there, it's a real nice idea to go ahead uh, up here to File, and we're going to save this particular set of parameters. Note I've got several in there already. I'm just going to put uh, uh, test uh, IMG. Okay. Now, with that, we can turn this off. Now, I'm going to show you something really interesting. This is how to take memory information out of a different brand of radio. This is the Oshing. Okay. This is programmed with what I use around here. We live in a very rural area. There aren't very many repeaters, but I've got some simplex frequencies and so on that are in here that I would like to have in here also. So, what we're going to do is go into the Oshing radio. Now, this, make sure it's turned off. Plug this thing in. One thing about the Oshing with the way this flap comes back is you've really got to make sure that's seated all the way. And then turn it on, volume about halfway up. Okay. And we're going to do radio, download from the radio. And now we're dealing with the Oshing radio. And we remember from uh, looking at the list before, we want the KG uvd one p Okay, and again, our screens. Okay, you can turn those off if you don't want to see them. Now I am downloading from the radio to the computer uh, the information that, that I want. Okay, what we've got here is the contents of the memory. Something is kind of snuck in here that I don't like, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that, and I can delete that memory. It's gone. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is, since this is set up the way I want it, We've got frequency. This is the receiver frequency. We've got the name of the repeater or uh, thing. Here's the weather broadcast, whatever it may be. Uh, whether there's a tone, the tone means tone going out, but you don't need one coming back, which is most common. None is none. If it's none, all the rest of this over to here uh, just gets uh, it just gets taken out. Okay. Um, this is the tone frequency. You can you know, actually go down into one of these and, and just pick the tone uh, that you want to use. Tone squelch is if you want the radio not to open unless it receives a, a tone squelch and so on. Uh, duplex, see we have uh, the plus or minus shift here, okay? So, um, the and here is the um, if you go split you have to put the absolute frequency in there if you go minus plus or minus it will allow you to just give the 600 or the uh, 5 megahertz for the 440 the mode the power high low high okay skip means do you want this channel skipped when you're doing a scan so something that's always broadcasting like this weather tone right here you want that to skip. Okay, very good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and save this, save as, and I'm going to put in here as Oshing Demo Demo 2. Okay, and I'm going to save it as an image file. Okay, it's saved. Now, we have made a change here, uh, I think, so I'm going to go ahead and write this back to the radio. Um, upload to the radio. Again, we go through our little uh, screens. 
You can click on those so that they don't appear anymore. We're going to clone back to the radio the one dinky little change that we made, okay? Now, having done this, I want to show something interesting because we now have saved onto the computer two image files, one for the GT5P and one for the, the uh, O-Shing, okay? And so I'm going to turn this off <laughs> and put this in here, turn this on, volume up about halfway. Okay, and now I'm going to the radio. I'm going to download from the radio. Um, it's COM6. It's a, a Baofeng. Okay, and we recalled that it's the HP version because that's what it said in the list. Yes, okay. And so it's cloning now. And it's going to bring down everything that it has in its memory. We know what that was because we saw it before. But what I would like to do, since what's in the memory is just garbage, uh, it's not useful for me at all, uh, what I'd like to do is replace that with the channels from the Oshing. So let's see how that's done. File, import, and um, I'm going to use the image files, okay? And I would like what's in the Oshing. So I'm going to select that one that we just saved. I'm going to open it, okay? Here is the proposed plan of action. These channels right here in the two are the um, Baofeng channels, and from is from the Oshing, okay? And if you want to put them in, you can, you know, be offset by 10 or, or so on. Um, you can even go 100 if you want. Um, let's see. Uh, this one, auto. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go, okay, and bam. These first 10 channels, right, or the first uh, 13 channels have been written over in here from the radio. So we've got this transferred over to here now. Now there's a bunch of channels in here that, that we don't need. So I'm going to go ahead and use shift down here and watch this delete, delete these memories, poof, they're gone, okay? So now I have this set up to go into the Baofeng. Now I need to write it to the Baofeng, so I'm going to upload to the radio, and we're going to uh, click OK, and again, these two, two screens. All right, and it's now uploading it. Now the nice thing about this is I'm able to take all my channel selections here and match them over here. You want to make sure nothing gets uh, kind of mixed up. So um, here we go. Note how this is done on the Baofeng. It's got a frequency and an offset and the amount of the offset. Um, okay, so now I'm going to save this uh, as, as the latest, latest incarnation of the image file. It's all saved. And I have put it in the radio. I am all done. Button it up. So what have we done? We've downloaded Chirp. We figured out which radio profile to use. We were able to download, modify, and upload what's in here and save it. Same with here. Download, modify, upload it. But we were also able to take the memories that were in here and write them over into in here. And that's cross-brand. Very cool. Thanks so much for watching. This is Dave Kassler, KE0OG. Please note that the round symbol with my face in it, you click on that, you can subscribe. Uh, the square symbol with the tip jar in it will take you to the chip jar on my website. And the thing that looks like a video screen is actually the playlist for the Ask Dave videos. You can start with Ask Dave number one all the way up to this video. So signing off, 73.